Hey guys, this is Simran from Clear Tax and this is Prarthna from Clear Tax as well. Well, Simran, how aware are you about cryptocurrency? Well, cryptocurrencies are probably the most talked about thing these days, right? Once hailed as the future of finance, the crypto coins have already taken over the world. Bitcoin is the leader of all. Yes, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency to truly explode and since then others like Ethereum, Cardano, Ripple and even Dogecoin have appeared. Most of them have grown at an exponential rate. Well, everyone wants to buy and sell Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in India, but there are a lot of questions that keep popping up. Absolutely. A number of exchange platforms have made it easier for investors to buy and sell cryptocurrencies in India but there are a lot of questions that keep coming up and today we will try to answer some frequently asked questions about cryptocurrencies so let's begin well let's start from the very basics what are cryptocurrencies well in simple words cryptocurrencies are digital money that cannot be seen or touched but have certain value attached to them they are supported by blockchain technology which relies on a network of computers to keep track of transactions rather than on a centralized authority like a bank moving on to the second question that is how do cryptocurrencies work Well cryptocurrencies are still very young and their exact use case is yet to be found. They can be compared to assets like gold or real estate as a store of value. The idea as more and more people will start holding these coins, their value will go over time and more use case will appear. Moving on to the third question, can cryptocurrencies be converted into rupee or any other fiat currency? Yes. Any cryptocurrency can be converted to rupee or other fiat currency using an exchange platform. The fourth question is how to buy or invest in cryptocurrencies? Well, cryptocurrencies can be bought using various exchange platforms. The investors can download the apps from Google Play Store or App Store. They just need to sign up using their credentials, complete the KYC process, transfer money to the wallet and make the purchase. The popular Indian platforms include Wazirex, Zepay, CoinSuite, Kuber and CoinDCX, Go etc. The investors can also buy Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies through international trading platforms like Coinbase and Binance. Now moving on to the next question, what are the things to keep in mind while investing in crypto? Well, just like any other investment, crypto is also a long-term solution. It has taken Bitcoin almost a decade to reach the levels it is at right now. Also, the market is new and more volatile than any other financial market. So be patient, research well before investing and do not panic. Moving on to the next question that is Are cryptocurrencies prone to fraud? Bang on question, Simran. Yes, anything that involves money will always invite trouble. The bigger challenge with cryptocurrencies is that they are still unregulated in India. This means anyone can create an exchange platform or a coin and start selling it. The investors should ensure that they don't fall for it. You should only invest in crypto after checking its history and only through a trusted platform. Moving on to the seventh question, can cryptocurrencies be used to make online purchases? Well, Prathna, no, not at least in India. There are no companies or e-commerce platforms in the country that allow users to make purchases using cryptocurrency. However, they can be used to buy tokens on exchange platforms. Moving on to the next question that is why do the price of cryptocurrencies fluctuate Well the crypto market works just like stock market the latter also witnesses ups and downs however the crypto market is young and more volatile this is why it reacts more to developments and hence we see more fluctuation Well Simran why do the world need cryptocurrency Well, Prathna, cryptocurrencies were created as an attempt to decentralize financial transactions following the 2008 financial crisis. The idea was to put the power in the hands of people and reduce dependency on banks and governments. The early creators argued that governments print as much flat currency as they want, which has or will reduce its value over time. This is why a cap was put on crypto coins. For example, there are only 21 million bitcoins in the world. 
Moving on to the next question that is what are the concerns around cryptocurrencies? Well, the major concern around cryptocurrencies is that they are largely built around speculation. Most crypto enthusiasts are hoping that the market will evolve and grow over time which will increase the value of these currencies and make them more mainstream. However, there is a huge chance that it might not happen. Commodities like gold and silver have coexisted with fiat currency but are only look as a store of value and not a mode of payment. Moving on to the next question, can crypto replace fiat currency? Well, Prathna, no. It's very difficult to predict future, but the idea of entirely replacing fiat currency is far fetched. The best case scenario is that the governments will take more control over cryptocurrencies, introduce new regulations, and allow more seamless transactions. But they are unlikely to replace rupee or any other fiat currency. Moving on to the next question that is what is crypto market? Well, crypto market is like stock market. Just that you trade in digital currencies instead of stocks. The major difference is that cryptocurrency markets are decentralized, which means they are not issued or backed by a central authority such as the government. The entire market runs on a network of computers. Moving on to the very last question what are the top cryptocurrencies in the world, Simran? Well, Prathna, I think Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano and Ripple are the major cryptocurrencies in the world. Most of them have their specific purpose. For example, Bitcoin is seen as a substitute to gold, while Ethereum is looked upon as a supercomputer. Then there are meme coins as well. These include Dogecoin, Shiba Inu coin and others. They were created for fun and should not be taken too seriously. But Prathna, I think we have answered pretty much a lot of questions to cryptocurrency. But if you still have any more questions, do not hesitate to comment them in the comment section below. And we will try to reply to them as soon as we can. Absolutely. Also, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Clear Taxes YouTube channel for regular videos on finance. Stay tuned and take care.